Hi, and welcome back. My name is Roxanne Pacheco. I'm a clinical therapist certified in trauma and preventive medicine. And I am so excited to share this message with you, a message that I pray will bring hope and will bring a sense for a new future for you. Today we're going to be talking about seasons and what an appropriate time to be talking about seasons because we have moved into September where many of you perhaps are now looking into Pinterest and whatnot, looking to see what's coming in for the fall. And that is exactly where I would like to meet you. Ecclesiastes 3.1 says that there is a season for everything, everything under the sun. And many times when a client comes into counseling, they are in a particular season in their lives. So let's go ahead and think about this for a second. Just like we have spring, summer, fall, and winter, emotionally speaking, we also go through seasons. And today I invite you to kind of pay attention to what season you are in. You see right now, we are perhaps moving into the fall season, not only physically, but also emotionally. Maybe you start seeing that there is change similar to this leaf. If you think about the fall season, what do you think of? We think of leaves falling, changing colors. You look at the trees and there's significant loss perhaps taking place. And when you're in the fall season of your life, emotionally speaking, you may be going through significant loss. Maybe you see that that relationship, it's not it's not there anymore. It's no longer there. Or maybe that identity, that good, the good way in which you saw yourself, you no longer see yourself through that lens. There is a loss in regards to that. Or maybe the death of a loved one and that person is no longer there. Or it could even be finances. Something is happening where there's significant loss and you may feel sad or depressed or anxious or worried or fill in the blank because of all these losses that are taking place. That is actually a place where many of my clients initially come in. They come in because it's been loss after loss after loss and they find themselves in the fall season. Slowly what begins to take place is that those losses, those trees, go into a winter season and now you don't see anything but death all around. It may seem cold, it may seem gloomy, it may seem as if you're completely alone. If you think about it, many times we look at the winter season and we see that there really is no life. There's almost no color. And that's kind of what it feels like to be in the winter season of your emotional life. You may be seeing your life and it's like if there's no vibrance, there is no color in your life. But don't worry and don't panic because I have some good news for you. Just as the spring season once again comes back, that spring season will slowly come back into your emotional life as well. Suddenly you'll begin to see that there's new sprouts of life. There's new little leaves growing into these trees where once again you're reminded that there is hope for a future. That there is hope for something new that's going to be blooming and where you are reminded that perhaps you were meant for such a time as that. Your spring season is coming. You only need to be still long enough to allow God to do what God knows how to do and to weave and to work everything for your good because that's what his word says that it is for our good for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose and you and I have been called according to that beautiful purpose and then what happens after that spring season kicks in what happens is that those trees are in full bloom and you get to go and you get to rest under the beauty of that tree because that tree is now ready to provide you with the shade that you need. Because everything that you worked for, everything that you saw slowly progress into that evolution or that transformation has now given you a fruit so great that you can barely contain it. That's where you get to go and enjoy that picnic and sit under that tree 
and see either the sunset or see the sun rise and know that through all these seasons and through all this transformation, God has been there with you every step in the way. So many times I like to share this story with my clients because it brings them hope that although they may come in, in that fall season where literally they see their life falling apart and they walk into the winter season where they're depressed and gloomy and cold and it seems like nobody is there to give them a warm embrace, slowly their spring season will come and slowly they'll begin to see new life and they'll begin to see themselves through a lens that is of new life that is of new hope. And sooner or later, your summer season will come where you too will go and rest under the shade that this beautiful tree is now ready to give to you. So today, take inventory. If you're in the fall season, don't worry. Spring is coming. If you're in that moment of summer, enjoy. For you have worked for that. Truly savor it. Take the time to know that that is God simply saying to you that he has been there all along. So I look forward to every single Friday when I get to share with you something that God places in my heart that I pray will be a blessing for your life. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know what season are you in? What season? Are you perhaps coming out of, or maybe you see yourself and you say, hey, I can't wait for that summer. Let me know what is being under the shade of that tree feel like for you. What do you think it's going to be like for you? I look forward to seeing you next week for another Therapy Talk with Roxanne. I remind you, trauma is real and so is healing.